I Rock Radio, the world headquarters of Rock Big Show tonight in Hartford at the Webster Theater. Phil Labonte from All That Remains. How you doing, brother? Doing good. How you been? Thank you very much for sitting down. Anytime. With you. you feel okay? You I do a good feel nap? Good. Yes, I did. You I took a little nap. nap. You yeah. feeling good? Yes. You feeling yes. all right? Yeah. Big show in Worcester last night? Yeah, it was good? It was killer. I mean, like, uh, it was over a thousand people, you know, came out, um, and it was killer. Um, it was it was weird playing uh, Worcester without Ollie, you know? Hey. Playing back, playing here at home is weird. Like, we did did the, uh, the European tour... Um, and that was kind of our first kind of foray back into playing after Ollie passed away with with uh, with Jason, and so that kind of gave us a little bit of a buffer. If we had to start like with this tour, mm-hmm. it would have probably been a lot harder. Mm-hmm. And and I can't say that it was easy last night, but we mm-hmm. we managed to, you know, I guess just get up there and 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 do. I guess what Ollie would have, would have wanted us to do was just right. you know get out there and, and keep playing. We haven't had a chance to talk face to face about it, and and I mean our condolences. I mean Ollie was just a really good dude, man, and and I know for you in particular, you and Ollie started the band. How? What do you? Where? Where are you? What? What are your emotions? What are you going through when you finally when you get that call? I mean. I mean, for us to, to, I mean, we're outside of it a little bit, but we, we, we felt horrified. I can only imagine what, what was it like when you, when you, you first found out? I was driving up 91, uh, in Connecticut. I was heading, uh, heading home. I was heading home. And I, I mean, obviously it was, it was shock. And the first thing I do is I start, you know, me and, me and Mike, our guitar player got on the horn and, uh. And we were just trying to find out information because it started coming out little trickles. People said, you know, people were saying, oh, someone called someone and said there's a bunch of cops at Ollie's house, mm-hmm. you know, and or there's, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then when I got confirmation, um, I guess the best way to say it was just it kind of didn't really, really compute at first, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, and it took a little, it took a minute for that to kind of, kind of really hit me that, you know, I had seen Ollie the weekend before and I wasn't going to see him again, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, and it's weird playing shows, you know. Mm-hmm. For 20 years, every single show that All That Remains played, Ollie was on my left. You know, mm-hmm. Ollie was always right there. Um, and so, you know, it, it's it's been hard, you know. I can only imagine. I mean, and... and Again, we're we we were just uh, I was horrified. I mean, I've known Ali as uh, as long as I've known you. I mean, you guys were like always together, and he was just uh, a unique character. He was a character. He was dude. definitely he was, character yeah. on stage. You know, you guys were you guys would be rocking out, and he had just that way that way about him, and he yeah. was just and to watch him give instructions on the bus and and to go through all his tablatures. He was a brilliant musician. I yeah, mean, a lot of people don't know like. Not only was Ollie, you know, a great stage presence and a great, a great guitar player, Ollie was literally the best guitar teacher I'd ever seen. Yeah. And I'd taken lessons from a bunch of dudes, you know. Yeah. Um, Ollie had a knowledge of music theory and this amazing patience and ability to articulate uh, what he was trying to explain in a way that was. It, where everything seemed simple and it, and it just clicked, mm-hmm. right? So, like, someone would come in and, I mean, they'd sit down and I'd watch them and everything that he said, there was never miscommunication. Everyone always just like, mm-hmm. okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. Just all the time, the way that he could transfer that knowledge to someone else was like no other human I'd ever ever met in my life. It was, it was, he was... As good as he was at guitar and mm-hmm. playing on stage, he was a better teacher than anything else. And so I, I really feel like music as a whole lost something significant there. So, you know, when someone that's a musician, that's a, a performer or a writer passes away, you know, music loses mm-hmm. something. But the ability to to give that knowledge to someone else. Not everyone can do that. You can get, I mean, you can get great guitar players that can never tell anyone how they do it. You know, 
uh, you, you say, well, how do you do that? And they're like, well, I don't know, I just do it or whatever. And Ollie could meticulously explain how he did it, why he did it, why it works in the song, why he chose that particular mode or whatever. Uh, and, and, you know, that, that's why I think that music as a whole, you know, beyond guitar, beyond metal, beyond rock, music as a whole lost someone that day. Um, and it's, it's a really sad thing. I'll, I'll never forget we were on the bus talking one time and they brought in a bunch of boxes and he, Ali got this look on his face like Christmas had come early and they were tablature books yeah yeah and he because he had he had he write he wrote he physically wrote every all his note he wrote everything out yeah and he got the tablature books finally and he was just like yeah. dude this is great he took a lot of pride in that he did it was yeah. it was awesome so moving on from Ali which I know is extremely hard um, there's a replacement for Ollie. He's a permanent member now of All That Remains. Jason Richardson, yeah. He is someone that I'm sure Ollie is looking down on us right now going, that's the man. If I had to pick a man, yeah. that's the guy I want replacing me. What is? What was their connection? Well, we had toured with uh, Born of Osiris back in, I think, 2011, mm -hmm. and that was the first time that we met Jason. And we've done, we had done tours where Jason, whether it be with Born of Osiris or he, he played with... Uh, uh, Chelsea Grin for a little while too. We'd done tours and shows since where he was around, but specifically when we were out with Born of Osiris, Ollie would. There were there was four bands, mm -hmm. uh, and Ollie would. Born of Osiris was second out of four at the time. Ollie would go and watch Born of Osiris every night. Then after they get done, he'd while the other band was playing, he'd come back and warm up and stuff. And and every day, you know, all the time he'd be like, "You you guys have to check out." Jason Richardson he's like that kid at the time Richardson was I think 19 yeah. and he's like that kid's 19 years old he's a better guitar player than I've ever been he's a better guitar player than I'll ever be he's the great he's literally the best guitar player that's go that's like uh, that I've ever seen he, and just just raving and raving and mm -hmm. raving about him um and he was right Richardson is uh a, just an absolute monster the real deal you know? yeah and so yeah, like like you said, there there is no one, and I say this every night from stage. There is no one on earth that Ollie would have preferred to to take that place. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, aside from Jason, uh, Jason is the guy. So when when he hit us up, um, you know, we actually <clears throat> we, he had had put up a tribute uh, video of him mm -hmm. just doing the yeah. solo to to Chiron, just crushing it, and. Uh, Aaron, our, our bass player, was like, yo, should I give him a call? And I was, at the time, it was like two days after. I was like, yeah, whatever, because, you know, we, we did have stuff mm -hmm. coming up. And I was like, yeah, you know, um, kind of offhandedly, because I didn't really want to think about it, really. Right. Um, so Aaron gave him a call, and he was just like, guys, if, if you want, you know, if you want me to fill in, I can fill in. I, I know you guys got something coming up. And so for us, that really gave us a, a kind of a, a space to breathe, you know. Right. We had stuff booked and we were like we you know our record was coming out in a month mm -hmm. and we're like all right well if he's going to do that then we can deal with the personal stuff we know we know that the the business of all that remains is handled you know our management can take care of this and and we know that we've got the tour taken care of cuz Richardson's here so you know me and Mike and Jason could kind of handle the the you know the hurt and and getting used to the idea and all the stuff that goes goes along with mourning when you lose someone so um he really kind of came in and saved us and then when he he came out and within two days you know he, he came and we were rehearsing and we're like the first couple hours that he was there i mean he was just playing all the parts fine and stuff but me and we would be it was more a thing like we would make a joke you know that was kind of an inside joke and jason would get it right away right like with it, there wasn't uh there wasn't kind of that, you know, feeling out if you can kind of hang. Right. Like right. right off the bat, it was like, all right, this guy's cool. You know, this guy gets it. And I, I remember, you know, three or four times that day, I just kept looking over at Mike going. And, and Mike's <laughs> like, you know, that, that, that kind of unspoken thing. Right, just right. like, you know, yeah, that's the guy. Right. So, um, you know, once we got on tour, we talked to him about it, and, and we're like, "Look, we know you got a solo project coming up, or we we know you got a solo project. You got a solo record coming out that'll come out sometime this year," and we wanted to make sure that he understood that if he wanted to to talk about joining the band or or be a part of all that remains, 
it wasn't going to be a thing where we were going to be like, well, this you have to do and that you have to do and you can't do this and you can't do that. Um, you know, because all that remains has never been like that. We're, mm-hmm. all, we're, we're our own thing and anything someone does in the band outside of all that remains mm-hmm. from our perspective only helps. Right. So for us, we were like, look, we're fully supportive of you continuing your solo career, you doing all the stuff that you do, um, you know, in your solo career, as well as doing all that remains. And I think that once Jason kind of hung out with us and saw the way the band was run and saw the, cause you know how some bands are, some, <laughs> some bands, there, some bands, there's one dude, yeah. you know, there's always one, bro, <laughs> you know, and, and considering yeah. the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm the guy that was, you know, the first guy that started the band and I have a certain, uh, <laughs> There's a certain perception that people have. It's not accurate, but there's a certain we perception. We're gonna go there. We're, we're, we're having a nice little talk. And you gotta go veer off that way. But 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 you know, once he saw that you know we're not run that way. It's, right. it's not run. It's not like some dictatorship. Right. You know, we're a band. Right. And uh, once he saw that, I think that he was like, yeah, I, I kind of want to be a part of this. this. You know, and we were like, cool. You know, so we've been doing, you know, we've been doing whatever we can to make sure that people you know focus on on the stuff that jason's got coming we mentioned it in in press and you know we went and did an interview with uh with with a with a guy on the radio and i was like dude plug your plug your website plug Mm -hmm. your you know plug your record talk about Mm -hmm. this and he's like oh you know cool because like you know it's if you step into a new band you don't know and you're not sure what to do and and we were just like dude whenever you win we win go right you know, right. pay attention to this guy. People thought he was just filling in. He wasn't a full time member, and you had to come out on social media yeah. and say that yeah. he's a full time member. We, so, and one of the, the thing with that is, it's like if Ollie had quit, you know, you can right. go ahead and do the check it out. We got a new member, but right. you know, Ollie died, and yeah. it's hard. It was hard for me to figure out the way to say that Jason was the 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 new member of all that remains because I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to say that he was taking all his place because you can't take all his place. You know, he's, he's playing lead guitar, but you know, it it might be closer to look at Jason as, as like a sixth member than, than taking all his spot, you know? Um, And so we were trying to just, we were, we were trying to, the first time that we, talked about Jason being in the band um we had J- Jason just be the only voice in the press release sure and it wasn't quite clear enough right yeah. um or people you know mm-hmm. people didn't quite pick up on it so I went to my you know uh, well you had to I mean yeah, you, know, you know I mean you're 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 the front of the band yeah. you and Ali started the band so your voice should have come out and made yeah. that statement so yeah I get it I totally get it it's it's tough though you, you know because we don't want it we don't feel like he's taking all his place. Right. You know what I mean? So right. it, it was tough for us to kind of figure out a way to relate that, I guess. Sure. Well, no one can take all his place. Yeah. 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 So now we're obviously you shot a video mm-hmm. for the latest single. Yeah. Um, are we, are we writing some new music? Are we, are, are we even crossing that bridge yet? Or not or, yet? We've, or, we've or talked we just... about it. We've talked about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but right now we're, you know, the victim just came out in November, so we're focused on that. Mm-hmm. Um, Jason's got to do, finish up his solo record. Mm-hmm. Um, I imagine probably in the end of the year we'll mm-hmm. start seriously looking at that. We already talked to talked to Dan Laskowitz, who produced Victim of the New Disease, mm-hmm. and we're like, dude, we want to do our next record with you. Mm-hmm. And so that we kind of, you know, we, we've we've I guess we've laid the groundwork to start it, but we haven't actually started writing anything. We probably won't start doing that until at least the end of the year right. or the earliest, you know. Right. Right. And uh, we're, I've been doing kind of like a retrospect on my Instagram uh, page, as you yes. well know. Yes, And I went through some uh, older photographs of you and I. And uh, I got to tell you, um, sometimes it gets overlooked from our end of it. You know, some of the bands that we've helped move forward. Not, sure. You know, I mean, listen, you guys m- make the music. We're just, like I always say, people goof on me for saying this, but we're just the conduits, man. You give us the music, we put it out there for everybody to listen. And we've been proud to support a lot of bands over the years, including All That Remains. And I remember all the times you stopped by the Asylum. I remember yeah. the times you stopped by iRock Radio. And, and just to go through all those pictures, and that one particular picture, the first interview that we had together, and what you said to me after that interview has resonated with me all throughout my career 
at how how great it was for you to be a part of our radio station because your hometown radio stations yeah. in Massachusetts wouldn't support you. Yeah, you know, and and you know they they still I'm not going to say their name, but they still you know there's still a kind of a rock radio station. Mm-hmm. They don't they certainly don't they certainly don't play active rock the way mm-hmm. that. Uh, they did maybe 20 years ago and they certainly don't play it the way that, that CCC used to. Um, but, you know, for us, because of the fact that, you know, Hartford is closer than Boston, mm-hmm. you know, he, he, people in Boston look at Western Mass as like, you know, kind of the <laughs> the throwaway, you know, you know, all those hicks out there. <laughs> they want our tax money out in Boston for the big dig, but they right. don't want to go ahead and give us any any uh, any love. Uh-huh. Um, but you know, Hartford it was never like that. Hartford, there there is an argument to be made that maybe Western Mass is more Northern Connecticut than Western Mass. Well, but, listen, come on, let's not go there. Yeah, right? well, I mean, it, it, it's, <laughs> it's, it, it's 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 true. You know, uh, I I've spent people in Western Mass and and myself in particular, I've spent way more time in in Hartford and, and Northern Connecticut than I ever did in Boston. Uh-huh. You know, so. Um, yeah, and and CCC was a huge part of of my life when I was, you know, a teenager growing up and stuff, listening to the radio. You know, mm-hmm. I remember you know the Mel and Frank show and, and the what the Mel and Frank show, right? Who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 are you gonna get me cranked up? Because I can get you cranked up, okay? You want to? Fuck you. I'm, not, I'm not trying to bring up. Uh, dad you know, here. Come I'm on. Not, I'm not trying to bring up uh, uh, any beef or anything. I'm just saying that that I've listened to CCC. For a long time, right? You know, you know? <laughs> well, listen, we were really um, again. I can't stress how how devastated we were about Ali, and we're so. Uh, you can never replace a guy like that, but yeah. you guys have 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 moved on, and you're going in the right direction, and that's the way Ali would have wanted it. Yeah. So you know, his music will always live on through our airwaves. You know, I Rock Radio. We will continue to support you guys as we did with WCCC and Ali. Will live on, yeah. and we look forward to the next chapter. But um, so we're touring, getting the tour done. Yep. Take a little break, and uh, is it tour, 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 tour? Well, I know you love Europe. You love going to Europe. Well, you I know. know. <laughs> I, we actually, no, like that. <laughs> if, I, if I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna be honest, Europe, <laughs> Europe is is a different animal. Mm. After since I got a, a a phone plan where I don't get international roaming charges so. uh, oh, <laughs> changes everything you're a rock man. star come changes. on dude i tell you what yeah nobody, <laughs> nobody comes home from no one no one wants to come home with a five thousand dollar bill Whoa. i don't care how much money you make well that's because you you're always be on like, social media stay well, off social media well, all yeah. right troublemaker <laughs> easy uh, but uh but yeah like we got uh we got some stuff going on we've mm-hmm. got some international stuff um and we're you know we're we're putting things together for the rest of the year but we're going to be touring and and busy for most of the rest of the year yeah so. awesome well thank you for taking some time to hang out with us tonight we're going to go in and check out a little bit of uh, some of your openers and then uh, we look forward to uh to seeing uh all that remains but it's it's going to be different it's going to be different it's def- definitely going to be different it, i tell you what it's going to be different but it's just as good jason is is a monster so he's he's nailing it. So he better have that he, hand movement down. He, do, he does his, he his, does his, Ollie his. proud. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That was great. Yeah. Philabati, all that remains on iRock Radio, the world headquarters rock. Thank you, bro. Thank you very much.